Hey everybody, welcome to day two of the Golden Goblet, uh, part two. Not online, sorry, I'm so used to the muscle memory from playing this on the NLSS. Um, we're playing a golf with your friends. Yesterday went okay, could have been better, could have been worse, could have been a lot better though. Today we're playing Mazaskiville. Yo, it's a map. That's the description. I respect the simplicity, we're on classic game mode. Without further ado, let's get started. This is Mazaskiville by Mike Mazaski. Let me remind you. Under no circumstances should you believe that this is anything other than a map. As handled in the description, it says, is a map. Okay. Clearly. Clearly. This is whole and oneable. The only question is, how do we want to do it? I think we do it a little bit like this. Oh my god. By taking 10 seconds to think about it, we've created an insurmountable lead on hole one. I'm... I don't know what to say. I'm very impressed with myself. Let's see what else we got going on here. Okay, I, I hate this non-Euclidean geometry we've got going here. But it's just in that back corner. Are there bumpers on the side? There are bumpers on the side. There's also bumpers down here. I honestly don't know how we would take advantage of those, just to be straight up with you. I think this is what we do. I think we, we give it a nice little heave-ho. And hope we get a bounce into... Uh, we were like one micrometer of power. Away from getting two holes in one. But you know what? The old cerebral cortex is operating at peak efficiency right now. I can't complain. Okay, what do we got going on here? What do we have going on here? What the heck is that that's going on out there? Um, legitimately? I think I see a path. I think I see a path right here. Oh, you're very lucky. We easily, we could be shooting three right now. Just call me Steph Curry. Or, Nick Van Exel? Sorry, it's been a while. Derek Fisher, I was thinking of who it was on the Lakers. Okay. I mean, we must be going here. Is the only explanation. I think. Like we gotta be trying to land in this hole. It doesn't get any better than that, brother! It doesn't get any better than that! Oh my god. Okay, I'm very impressed with myself so far. Hole 5. It's a par 4. That's that's very spicy. I can already tell you, step 1 is going to be a quick bounce off of this thing in front of us. I mean, I think I think this is hole in oneable. Believe it or not, I think this is hole in oneable. I don't think we're going to do it, but I think it is doable. Maybe not in hindsight. Uh, this is a, a pretty bad place to be. All at least... Oh, it's going to kick us out. No, it's not. It's going to kick us in. <laughs> <clears throat> Two seconds of free cam was all we had there. That's all we could have done. Honestly, to carry this one to a par, I really think we did leave a stroke on the table there that a, a more astute golfer might be able to... Might be able to make up a stroke or two on that one, but uh, I think our recovery was not so bad. It wasn't the complete disaster it could have been. So you're going up the camel's humps... You really want to fall off on the right side? Alright. If you say so. Like, something like this? So close. So close to great. This is the worst possible outcome. Just, I just don't know where the hole goes. I don't have any free cam left. Go ahead, take me. That was the right decision. You know what? We should have just tried to land it in the hole. I don't know why I was trying to get off of the safety record. That's a, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. But it's okay. We're still holding together. We're holding strong. You definitely just want to get on that thing. Yeah, there's no world in which you don't get on this thing. One Mississippi, two misses. One, okay. One Mississippi, two misses. Let's go! In hindsight, that really doesn't appear to have... ...really been that good. 
<laughs> it's also very hard to see. Oh my god, I didn't generate quite enough horizontal on it, dude. Alright. I think we're at even. I think we're at par right now. We're a scratch golfer. For, for such simple courses, this is mildly embarrassing. I'm, I'm willing to admit it. Okay, so we want to come around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bounce off that side. We're coming around the corkscrew here. It's a par five? I just hope this will work. Let's go. That Just that alone is going to change the game for us. There you go. Take me down the staircase. We only have two seconds of free cam left. Okay, I think we gotta do something like this. I I really can't complain about that. We're on our way to a an eagle. Now we're talking. Incredibly good luck on that first bounce. I really appreciate it. But again, you're not competing against the course. You have to remember you're competing against Daniel and Mouth. What is this? MXC Nightmare. I, I actually... I don't know what you want from me. I guess we're just gonna go a full yeet here. Oh! It's okay, it's a par 3. You can make one mistake and still par. Good. Solid performance. Uh, the, the par is gonna be unlikely. I'm just gonna level with you. Well, maybe not. Now that I think about it, I'm like, you know, this code. Oh, <laughs> undeserved, undeserved, and I definitely left a stroke on the table for for perhaps Daniel or Mouth to get one over on us. But I'm I'm somewhat pleased with that. Don't get me wrong. Plus the songs of Bob. I mean, come on. To pop off the left side would be ideal. But how on earth are we going to get through to the left side? I think you got to, like, bobsled your way on the right side first. But then how the heck are you going to get up that hill? Like... I mean, I think it's possible that this is better than just going straight up, but... Or straight through, I should say. This, and now I'm like, I'm, I'm very concerned. Just don't drop me down the hill. Just don't drop me down the hill. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. Don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. We didn't have to shoot so fast there. You know what? To bogey this course, and this looks like a pretty safe bogue. To bogey this course is acceptable. Not great. Not great, but acceptable. Things were getting real spicy there. Okay, so you're going over the top. I mean, you, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, you don't even think twice about this. It's okay. Learn a valuable lesson. You just want to push it a little further this time. That was about three and a half. You, you, you can't not do it now. Oh, no, no, no. It's, 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 too, it's a bar too! Oh my god, I'm, I'm actually gonna like hole out. I've ruined my whole performance with this hole. What does hole out mean? I mean, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna time out. Oh! Okay. Deep breaths. The man's an idiot. That's, the, it's the only explanation. The man is a fool. I really, I don't know. I, I just thought that was the way. I, th I mean, I, I thought it was a way. At this point, we just really have to you know, get something done. I'm, I'm embarrassed. It's one of those situations where, look at that, that was so easy. 
I really should be embarrassed. We just took 10 strokes to do a part two. That put us eight strokes over par on a single hole. Are you insane? What happened? What happened? Okay, it's all right. It's just, it's all holes in one from this point out. What is happening? I'll tell you, I see, I see the line. I see the line. It looks a little bit like this. Oh, you son of a... How dare you? How dare you? Don't, don't put me in the corner. Oh my god. Okay. All I can hope is that some of the other participants suffered some kind of psychosomatic, psychosocial, what am I even looking for here? Some kind of breakdown. That's, that's the only way I, I make it through this with, with anything better than a bronze, quite frankly. I don't even know if we can make it over this without bumping into that thing. I've put myself in a very peculiar situation now. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. You just gotta, I mean, you're on a hump right now. Whether you stop me there or not, you gotta let me through. Then we look, you really just wanna send this one straight ahead. Don't, don't put me over the humps again. Oh my God. You sent me backwards over the humps. You're, you're a masochist. It's a level? It's a nightmare, Mazazaki. You can't make it over the ramp. If you, honestly, if you bump me out there, probably would have alt f forward. Probably would have alt f forward the game in that, in the immediacy of that moment, I might have alt f forward the game. I'm being 100% insincere. I definitely would have. I mean, we've only got like five holes left, but I'm a little embarrassed, without a doubt. Okay, so you're just gonna, very simple. If you can navigate through the serpentine woods, you'd consider that a positive. I consider this a positive. And then, let's go, boys! If we were gonna have any chance of clawing back, that could not go out of bounds. The birdie is just a bonus. Okay, so we're obviously not gonna be hidden under par. It's not not plausible. Um, this being a par three is is madness. But hear me out here. That's uh, we'll we'll call that what it is. That's suboptimal. That's suboptimal. So what do we do instead? We'll just like slightly go over the humps and then um, couldn't, even, couldn't even see the Palisades, so that's my bad. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna just kick it out here. At this point, there's no point in making things harder on yourself. You oh, I already, already, already accomplished that with the, with the 10 stroke or a couple holes ago. Um, There you go. See, it's not you didn't put it in the sweet spot. You didn't put it in the habitable zone. But it definitely could be worse. That's thank you, thank you. That was only a quadruple bogey. Don't call it seven or uh, don't call it four over. That's a quadruple bogey. As long as we're still in nameable bogey territory, that's all I can ask for. So which one do we want here? I have no idea. I feel like number three over here. This might work. You're, you're, okay. What does number three over here mean? This one right here. I think that's as good as it could get. Very acceptable. I don't know, man. Maybe. I mean, nobody else is going to put up this spot right here. This is embarrassing. And there's a couple not great courses for us here. But I do wonder if there isn't a little something something in it for us. What does that mean? I mean, I, I think we might be able to get a silver today. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. If you ricocheted me out, I never would have forgiven you. 
one hole left. I mean, if we can shoot under a 65, 65 or under, you, you got to set your priorities based on where you stand. You know what I mean? This is a tough one because I don't even know where the freaking hole is. Okay, it's it's through the, the maze. It's through the riddle of the Sphinx. Okay, that's fine. Just let me get up the ramp. I feel like not being sent to the Shadow Realm was very important there. Excuse me, Franklin. Franklin, could you move, please? Because I believe I need to ricochet off the backside here. We will probably not... Never mind, I'm the greatest golfer of all time. We'll be shooting a 66 today. I can live with it. You know, we had... Really, this was a pretty okay performance caused by... They're, you know, derailed by one really, really, really bad hole. But that's not so bad. It's not without merit. All I'm going to say is... For all these Golden Goblins, you should be watching Three Perspectives if you got the time. Go check out Dan. Go check out Mouth. Those are linked in the video description below. You want to see results? Go to GoldenGoblet.net. Usually very soon after the episodes go live. Uh, that website will be updated with the results. You can follow it and see how badly Mouth is beating Daniel and myself. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I'm going to assume you enjoyed the episode. If you watched all 16 minutes and 28 seconds of it. 28 seconds of it, as I said, up to this point. Clicking the like button is the best way to send a message to YouTube. Hey, this guy makes good content. You should show his content to more people. It's the best way to support the channel. It's free. If you watch the video, I'd appreciate it if you would do it for now. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.